Hochgarnet. Alright, what's going on everybody? Retro Wrench is back for another video and today we have the Turbo Miata once again. If you saw our previous video where we took it to the Dino Tuner. He did one pull with it, but we did need to upgrade our fuel pump and our injectors, which we have right here. We ended up going with a uh, 165 LPH and, uh, fuel pump. It's good for 350 wheel horsepower. We're not looking to push that much on this thing because we'll probably blow this thing up. And then we got some 550cc injectors, and they're all by Dietz Schwerks, some kind of German company, but uh, got them off flyingmiata.com. They're a very good brand from what I've heard, and they're you know they're suitable for what power we want to push so without further ado we're going to do this install and um get the injectors in which is right up here on the fuel rail and then the fuel pump is actually under this top cover right under here under that little uh metal bracket which we'll show you once we get a little more into detail but uh yeah we're going to jump right into it also if you guys haven't seen we dropped a new uh merch design drop a gear and disappear definitely uh Check the link in our description down below. We'll put it on the screen right now. But we got some, you know, t-shirts, hoodies. We got the hats. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first thing we're going to start with is the injectors. We're going to pretty much get everything out of the way. We're going to disconnect this line right here, this little clamp. You get yourself these pliers. These are hose clamp pliers. And they have grooves just to make it easy to get these things off. Or you could just use regular vice grips. Or not vice grips, just regular pliers. Um, pretty much we're just going to get everything out of the way so we can access this fuel rail right there. Let's get here. I don't even really have to do this one, but we'll just get it out of the way. Super easy to do. Just unclip these things, wiggle them off. Put this one down here. This has probably never been off, so it's going to have a nice seal. Now that we got those lines out of the way, those coolant lines, this little PCV, and then we got this that goes to the fuel rail. Um, we're just going to take these 12 millimeter bolts. We'll be able to slide the fuel rail out of the way a little bit. Just get some access for the injectors, which is pretty much just going to be clipped in. The four of them, and then you could wiggle them out. They're really not in there. So we got those two 12 millimeter bolts out. You could pull this off the injectors. You are going to smell some fuel. There, there's a bolt somewhere down there that we had. It kind of just sits right on top of the injectors like that. You're going to have fuel leaking. So just be careful you don't have a match or anything. Not smoking. Yeah. Yeah, no cigarettes on this one, but it's okay, it'll evaporate. Now the fuel rail, you really can't get out of the way, you just kind of push it to the side and you'll be able to pull the injectors off once you do, once you take these things off. It's just a little clip. There's the old injector for one of them. We'll get them out of the way. It's still pissing fuel. So we got our 550cc injector here, we got our O-rings all on top, make sure they go. they are on. Because um, I know when we got this package, the one little O-ring was off. Just make sure they're all on. But to work with the OEM fuel rail, we have these little connectors, these little things that will go on this, and this will go into the stock uh, injector plug. We got some grease here, which you're going to pretty much put on all the O-rings just to get a nice tight seal so it reassures you that no fuel is going to seep through that and you put all these in for nothing, then you got to take them all out. But granted, these are easy to get in, so it's not too much of a hassle, but just do it now. Just put it on the seals and just get it out of the way. So we'll just put these on all of these. And this is a really easy tutorial. You should have no problem doing this, so don't, don't be too afraid of it because it's really easy to do. And you just need basic tools. You don't need anything special. All right, we're gonna go over there, put this grease on, and that's it. As you can see, the stock injector is definitely fatter compared to this, but it's all due to the internals and the, the spray pattern and stuff like that, which just gives us that extra fuel delivery that you need along with the fuel pump but um we'll just put some grease on these things and we're just going to put them in now all right so now we're just going to put these back in the hole this is more a spacer for that bottom one but right now just rest it until we get the uh, fuel rail on top which is really going to hold it in place just take the wires out of the way so now we're just going to get that fuel rail pretty much to just sit in the groove on top of them really easy to do just take your time if you have any questions or anything that you can't see just comment down below and we'll, we'll answer them for you 
So we got all the injectors in, the fuel rail is on top of them, it's gonna sit on top of them. Got all the connectors in. Um, we didn't really didn't show that because it's pretty self-explanatory. But now we we put those 12 millimeter bolts back in. Now we're gonna put those coolant lines, which we didn't really have to remove, but it just makes it easier to access that. Not there, we put that on, I'll put this on. And then we brake cleaned all that fuel because you don't want fuel just sitting there, especially with heat, you know, you don't need no fires, no fires yet. We like this car for a little while. But just clean it all up, clean up your workspace, and then that is done for the injectors. And now it's going to be moving on to the fuel pump. So now that we got the bigger injectors, we're setting up. We have a mega squirt. You have to have a mega squirt ECU for this, otherwise, it's not going to work right. You have to go into Tuner Studio and adjust the uh, CC injectors to the right ones, which are 550 because the stock's like 230, I believe. So we're just waiting for this to load up and then I'll go into the system and change it all up. All right, so now it's time to put the uh, fuel pump in. So it's actually right under here, under this carpet. We're going to kind of just get this up out of the way and get this out of the way. There's this bracket here. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six screws that are just Phillips heads. We're just gonna unscrew them real quick and uh, get that bracket out of the way. And then there'll be another bracket with the uh, fuel pump. And this is the same for 1990 to 97. So the NA and the MB. careful probably pretty sharp now we're gonna have to take this thing off right here and there's an electrical connector here just pretty much unplug that get that out of the way there is gonna be fuel on these lines so get ready for it we're probably gonna get a towel just put in there disconnect these two hose clamps slide them out and there's gonna be fuel in there and then it's just those screws on the bottom pull the whole assembly out and reinsert the new one Yep, there goes the fuel. It's gonna piss fuel. Oh, I love that smell. Oh my yeah, lord. It's a lot in there. Might need another rag. Yeah, we're gonna have to get another rag. This is horrible. Got these fuel lines uh, disconnected. Got the fuel out of the system right there. Now we're just gonna go around and get these Phillips heads. Be careful. You could wear like a respirator for this. Just make it really lightheaded. It is gas. I'm used to it, kinda. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Now it's gonna pull the whole sender unit out. You gotta be careful because it is long, thin pieces. There's our fuel tank. Let me get this gasket so it don't fall in. You wanna make sure you try not to get anything in there either. We got our bucket over here. Once again, be careful not to bend anything. That sender unit is very flimsy. And that is a fuel tank, so you want to be careful not to get anything in there. You don't want to contaminate that fuel. So now we're going to take the old one off. There's some clips here. Just kind of push down. It's so slippery. Isn't it really bad to have fuel on your skin, too? Mm-hmm. Really? I don't know. All right. Oh, God. That's... A little bit of respirator? And we have an intro. Let's take this band that holds it in place. Got that. Turn and pull. There we go. So with the uh, OEM fuel pump, it has this particular connector that fits to the uh, OEM one. Now with the aftermarket one, we put a new one on here. I left it a little loose so we could get it all in there. It'll go like this. And there's some grooves that it just has to sit in. Let me get them work with me. Now that that's on and this is in place, we got that rubber band which just goes around it and then goes on that little notch right there. Just keeps it in place. We're gonna plug this connector back in. That is a wrap for that. And now we're just gonna put it back in the car like so. And that's it, tighten all them down, the reverse procedure. And we're gonna see if it starts. We have the tuner just to really work with it, but we're not professional tuners, so we might have just take it to the shop and having it work from there. But yeah, that's how you do a fuel pump, injectors, and um, we'll put it in and see if it starts. All right, so I'm just going to slide this back in, make sure to not bend anything. And 
make sure that gasket's still in the right spot, which it is. There we go. Get these screws back in place, tighten them down. The injectors tuned. Yep. <laughs> there you go. That wasn't, it wasn't. Uh, a clutch failure. That was fuel. I swear. Fuel, yeah. That's probably not good. Probably not. It's not gonna run right. <laughs> yeah. It, it, when you put it in gear, it doesn't want to. That's a wrap for today's video guys. We hope you enjoyed. Hopefully you found it helpful. It's very easy to do. This was for the NA and the fuel pump you could do for NA and the NB. Um, the next video is going to be finally getting this car tuned. We get all the fueling. Now it will, you know, compare to the air that's being pushed into it. So that's a wrap for today's video. Unfortunately, it didn't get to drive too good, so we might have to tow it to the uh, shop. But until next time, peace.